Hey everybody, today on the channel, we're gonna take a look at Amazon's best-selling electric guitars. Stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back to Sepulpa Guitar. As always, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoy what you see. What we do on these videos is the same type of content I would make for parents or students, essentially. Uh, folks looking for advice on that first guitar, or maybe you just look to hear me talk about guitars on Amazon. We've done a few of these Let's Talk series of uh, videos where I essentially kind of go through, you know, uh, the Epiphones or Squires up to 500 bucks kind of discuss my experience with them and sort of my overall thoughts and opinions and then you guys down in the comments get to uh, get to kind of keep going with the conversation from there like I said thank you all so much for uh, watching we just hit 500 subscribers which is obviously nothing in the scheme of things but I only teach 20 to 25 students part-time every week so i know there's a few more of you watching than uh, than taking lessons but if you are interested in taking lessons real quick plug www.sepulpaguitaracademy.com i teach online i teach in person obviously if you're in the area otherwise i could teach online give us a shout and we can hook you up okay so i don't want to go too deep into this but i do want to uh, establish some criteria here when i give my thoughts on some of these guitars this isn't an issue where i'm condemning someone for being cheap or not spending enough money my concern is the player's first impressions you know getting that first guitar can be really tough and if it doesn't play well that could set you for a lifetime of disappointment you know uh, the guitar may have this unattainability to you because of how difficult that first guitar was sometimes these things kind of shake us up as people uh, it's hard to kind of get around these blocks so when I'm talking about these guitars, I'm talking from the concern of someone, A, who's seen a lot of these guitars and seen how playable or unplayable in some cases these are. So my idea is hopefully to maybe save you as uh, the parent or as a new guitar player some headaches. Um, ideally, you wouldn't buy your first guitar on Amazon.com. And I know I've said this before. I also know that some of you may not have a choice based on where you live or your budget or things like that. And um, there's a lot of guitar shops here in the Tulsa area, but I, you know, some of these guitars are hitting such a low price point to where I don't think there's any shops here in Tulsa that could compete with that. But I also think the local shops for a first time guitar player really offer the best deal, even if they're not offering you the best price. Most important about buying locally, uh, you're gonna get a guitar hopefully hopefully if you're buying locally that you're going to have set up and properly working by the time you leave that place that place of business brick and mortar store whereas when you buy it online who knows um, I've bought quite a few guitars online and some of them are set up quite well but for the most part they have all required some sort of degree of setup and if you're a new player you know, that's just one other learning curve you have to deal with. I also know there's some of you out there who love buying these sort of sub 200, sub $300 guitars, modding them out, fixing them up. Sometimes you probably just get uh, a whim on a Thursday night or a Friday night. Maybe you've had a couple of drinks or something like that. And you're like, hey, there's a great guitar. This got great reviews, 159 bucks. Let's do it. You know, for those of you who like to do that, uh, hopefully, uh, some of these thoughts and opinions will be a benefit to you. And if you disagree with anything I'm saying, obviously feel free to uh, leave a note in the comments. These are my opinions based on my physical interaction with these guitars. I've got a couple of them in the back. I can kind of show you um, what my experience has been like with them as well and, and go from there. So without further ado, let's just let's just jump into it, okay? Okay, so this is the Amazon bestsellers list. Now, if my Amazon looks different than your Amazon, one, we might not be in the same country, and two, this is also a Prime, a business Prime account. But the, the idea here, and um, also before I go on any further, if you ever need to know how to look this up yourself, I don't have any sort of secret knowledge. I'm not a wizard of information here. What I've done essentially is I, um, give you an idea how to do this. So I would click on any guitar, for example, I'm going to click on electric guitars on this top left corner. See where I've got categories right here. I'm going to click electric guitars. And then what I'm going to look down at is, ah, see best sellers right here. I'm going to click see more. 
And uh, this is the best sellers list. Now you might be thinking, gee, I wonder how often it's updated. I got to be honest, this thing has changed and shifted around about every time I've looked at it. So I would say if it's not real time, it is real close to real time. But this is essentially their top list of best selling electric guitars, not acoustic guitars, not laps, whatever. This is electric guitars. And as you can tell, if I'll stop scrolling, uh, you know, the first six, nine, 12. I mean, look how far down we have to go before we don't get a bundle or package deal or a set. You get down to product number 16, the Ibanez uh, GRX six string here. I got to say, I mean, I'm not super surprised by these results. Uh, let's go ahead and kind of work through these. Like I said, a lot of starter bundles and I know this is going to bring about some comments um, from the perspective of people maybe are either going to say these guitars are all junk or people with the perspective of these guitars are all great. Um, and like I said, my experience with a lot of these guitars is rather mixed. It, and again, I also understand that if you're, if you're not, um, if you're not willing to invest a whole bunch of money in your 10 year old's electric guitar or rock and roll career, I totally understand that, especially when the dropout rate for guitar is as high as it is. We've mentioned this on the previous video where Fender came up with some sort of, uh, some sort of percentage. They said about 90% of the first time guitar buyers in their case, never return and buy that second guitar. So this is, you know, Fender reporting from the Squire side so essentially saying that 90% of the people who buy from them every year, if that makes sense, or if that's, if that's correct, never come back. They're first time buyers, they buy the guitar, and then it goes into a corner or it goes on Craigslist or Facebook marketplace. And then it's, and then the circle of life is complete, right? That's how most guitars get sold in our country, in our world. So this does not surprise me that we're seeing essentially inexpensive guitar packages as the most popular item on Amazon. And frankly, you know, when I said about buying from independent stores, that's great. And buying in person is awesome. And it's probably a better way to get the guitar that's actually going to work for you. But it is pricier, you're not going to get as good a deal. And in the past, you know, returning guitars from mom and pop shops weren't great. I think a lot of them have changed that policy since, but they used to have some really strict, um, you know, I've heard back in the day about seven day, you know, that was it. Then there was no refund or exchange or anything like that. You know, now you've got places like Amazon, eBay, Reverb, Sweetwater offering what 30 day return policies. I mean, that's really difficult to uh, to beat. And to be fair to the mom and pops, when it's your money on the line and, and on that return, that return means a lot more. You know, there's a lot more money that's getting tied up in a return or exchange. So I can also see both sides of that. But that being said here, let's go through and look through some of these products. Uh, so uh, there's a couple of them I can comment on. Let me start with the stuff that I can sort of give you my firsthand impression on. Obviously, the first one is going to be this Donner DST 100S. This is a kit. Again, um, it says here 143.98. I guess that's a fire sale or something. They usually have these for about 150 dollars. I've seen them a little bit higher. Uh, essentially, you know, you got a Sunburst Strat, a gig bag here. You get the speaker, tuner cable, capo, strings, picks, strap, tuning, key, uh, yeah, the truss rod keys and the whammy bar. Um, I will say here, I'll show you uh, real quick. Let me pull this onto the full screen, full, full. Okay. So here is the Donner DST 100, I believe. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Um, I did the video on the Donners. You can go back and look at those. I uh, I don't know if they're as inexpensive, but you can buy these. Essentially, there's an eBay store. 
It's the uh, Donner Refurb. I'll probably put a link up there. I don't know if they're as inexpensive as they were when I was buying these, but I did a video where I essentially bought two of these for under 120 bucks. And um, I bought a white one and a red one, and I've since bought a couple of these Sunburst ones, but they're essentially the same guitar. It's a humbucker, humbucker. Actually, um, this is a humbucker single single, and the others were three singles, but it's the same. I mean, you know, like I said, it's a five way, very traditional strat looking color. I will say the gig bags and the setups with these were a little bit nicer, a little bit more deluxe, but that's sort of the, the gamble of buying from the eBay store. And I also had to do a lot of work on these. These things had some tremendous fret sprout as they seem to when I buy from the refurbished store. That being said, if you're buying from Amazon, you get a 30 day return policy and the guitars that I've had students bring in when they've bought them from Amazon, not from the eBay refurbished site, have all been set up much better than the ones that I've been buying, to be fair, for a much reduced price. So this is the Donner. See the Donner tag on the back. Um, gig bag's pretty nice too. And like I said, all the little trimmings you see there, I essentially got them without the amp was the difference there. Like I said, I paid about 60 bucks. I'll throw the link up if you're uh, ready and willing to uh, take a chance on one of these guitars. I'm not sure if they're still going for as inexpensively now, but that is the uh, that was the case when I bought them. And so they make really great student guitars. I mean, this is probably the brand that I would probably put the most trust in from an Amazon brand just because of the experience that I've had with their electrics and their acoustics, frankly. Um, is it going to blow your mind? Is it going to replace all your Stratocasters if you're a 30-year veteran of the guitar? No. But if you're a new player, this is great, honestly. Uh, as long as you can get it well set up, hopefully out of the box, or you know somebody or you're taking lessons and you got some goober like me who's willing to, uh, to help you set it up. But uh, like I said, really good experience with this brand. And uh, probably of all the things that we're going to talk about, it's probably going to be the one guitar I'm probably going to have the most favorable things to say. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is the Donner DST 100S full size starter kit guitar. There you go. So there's, oh, and you get a little Donner tag too when you buy these guitars. They come with their own little string action height um, gauge that I've never, I've never used. I think we talked about this in the last video. And then you get a little list of chords. That's a lot of fun, huh? Okay, let's take a look at this one. Uh, this is another one that I have, and I should probably give a little bit of backstory on this. So uh, in addition to teaching, you know, students for money, you know, part time, I also volunteer my time for the Guitars for Vets organization. I'll put some information about that down below. Uh, great organization. If you are a veteran and you are looking for free guitar lessons and a free guitar, you should reach out to the Guitars for Vets organization. They have a 10 week program based on wherever you live. And uh, you can kind of get hooked up with those folks. But Guitars for Vets also takes in donations. And I also accept donations from various people who, you know, just call up and say, hey, I heard you work for Guitars for Vets. I've got a couple of guitars I'd like to donate. And uh, you'll find this hard to believe, but most of these guitars are student and beginner guitars because... These are the guitars that people say, hey, I'm going to learn how to play guitar. And then they don't learn how to play guitar. And then it sits in the corner. You know, it's like when you buy the exercise equipment for Christmas and you're like, I I'm going to get in shape this year. It's really going to happen. I'm going to get on that treadmill. I'm going to lose that stubborn 20 or 50 or whatever. Um, and that's kind of what instruments become, especially guitars. Uh, this is the Best Choice Products uh, Acoustic Guitar Beginner Starter Kit. And so I didn't get this kit, but we did get one of these guitars donated. Let me give uh, switch the screen over here real quick. So, so as you can see, there's not much to it. Clearly not prepared to uh, do a humongous demo and review of these. But uh, this guitar is... Um, here's, the, here's the good thing. I didn't have... I had this in a gig bag and I hadn't messed with it in months. And I went to strum it and... I mean, that's not awful. 
<laughs> so, I mean, look, it's... The loosest strings I've ever felt. Um, it is mostly nylon and some steel strings on here. Look, it's 80 bucks. Oh, it's 50 bucks. It's 50 bucks. There's no truss rod adjustment on this thing. It's just sort of like set. It's, um, I'm going to guess like plywood glued together to be, be fair, all really well. Um, not perfect, but you know, for 50 bucks, I guess it does technically play. Um, would I recommend this on a smaller scale? I probably not for 50 bucks, honestly, especially knowing that I could get on eBay and for 10 bucks more, get an electric guitar and at least get it fixed. This guitar, if something happens to it, is just not fixable. Um, I don't know if I can show you. There's like, there's no truss rod. There's no place to adjust back here. It's just wood. <laughs> there's nothing back. I don't know if I can zoom in on that. I'll take a better picture later. But there's just no way to adjust this. Um, but like I said, the tuners are good. You know, they didn't need much tuning when I went and got it out of the gig bags. It's still, you know, ooh, still not. Oh, yes, yeah, soothing. I get a little buzzing. Um, for some reason, there's no identifying mark on the top of mine that it's the best choice. It's a little dark in here. It's my dramatic lighting. But on the back of it, you do get this, well, you probably can't see it, but I'll take a picture of it. That way you can kind of see the markings. Shame on me. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's the uh, best choice acoustic guitar for 50 bucks. I got to say, there's got to be a used deal. That's got to be better. This one is just, if something happens to it, there's nothing you can really do. I mean, if you don't like the action, tough. And the strings, like... I mean, look at the bridge. They are like knots tied in at the bottom. Y you know what I mean? They, it, it, it's fine, right? It's fine. But I think for 50 bucks, we can hook up something better. But according to Amazon, it is number four on their list. So people are buying this thing by the droves. Now, I got to be honest, I'm a little curious. Let's get back to the browser screen here. Like I said, it is $50, at least on my watch. It is a limited time deal, normally $60. I got to see some of these comments um, because I got to see what people are saying here. Great, great for the child, nice beginner guitar. This also shows you too that you really just can't trust. It's not that you can't trust Amazon reviewers. It's just that they're just reviewing stuff. I mean, I don't even know if they're paid or not. They may even genuinely think these are good guitars. And if, see the cheap, it's not really like a real guitar. It's cheap wood. It won't stay tuned. Mine stay tuned. So, well built. Hmm. It goes out of tune very easily. Four stars. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. You know, um, I don't think there's any crazy ad copy on here either because these all these folks are coming from overseas yeah i mean like i said i just can't trust it and they don't really talk about there's no trust rod but i don't think if you're buying this that you even know what a trust rod is easy to play hand handcrafted huh handcrafted hardwood i would doubt any of this is solid wood it's a some sort of laminate ply which again i don't care 60 bucks but I want to bring up one more. This one was at the very bottom of the list. This is currently at number 25. This is the Lix Pro 30-inch electric guitar and starter kit. If I'm correct, this is one that comes... So I've seen the pink, this one, sorry, the pink one, and I've seen the blue one. These have both come in... Uh, Students have bought these or parents have bought these for their students. It's a three-quarter scale guitar with the amp, with the tuner. So it's an electric beginner, much like that blue guitar thing that I was playing. It's essentially the same scale, only it's an electric. This is Lix Pro. Um, I got to tell you, this is probably one I would tell parents not to buy. And if they have a chance to talk to me before they go out and buy these things, I would tell them not to buy the Lix Pro. 
it's really horrible. Um, they aren't, I mean, look, none of these guitars that you buy from Amazon are set up. They're just not. They're, they're just, they're in a box. They go from the, from Licks or Donner to Amazon or maybe from to a wholesaler to Amazon and it's just in a box and so the box just gets moved around and then the box goes in an Amazon truck and then you get the box and then the last time someone's touched that guitar or messed with that guitar was either in China or India where the guitar was made so possibly it's still set up well but none of these licks that I've ever seen were even remotely intonated or even remotely set up they literally just put a bridge on there put strings on it and said see ya and I've never had one stay in tune remotely get intonated they just don't play well at all I've just never had a great experience with this with this small one maybe their big ones work better kind of like the best choice products like the electrics maybe they're better but i i would be hesitant to do this and then if you look at the reviews here it's four stars which 4.3 4.2 that's pretty low for amazon because there's a lot of bot reviews on here right but you can just see look at excellence See, these reviews kind of bother me. This might even be like ridiculous Amazon review time because look at this. I've been playing guitar and bass for 40 years, 40 years, and I'm gigging, and I've got my seven-year-old son. He's interested in a guitar. I'm not about to hand him a Les Paul. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The guitar is overall well-built and looks just as depicted. I was impressed by the action. You can which can really get in the way. The action on the ones I had were so bad. They weren't high. They were so low that you couldn't actually like make a chord or anything. There was nothing that could be done. The saddles were atrocious to set up. I mean, again, if you're a new player, you know nothing about how to set up a guitar. I know a lot of people who've been playing guitar for years and still know nothing about setting up a guitar. So you can't expect Amazon to get that guitar out and set it up for you. This is where buying it from a dealer really makes sense in a lot of ways. To be able to get that first guitar from someone who can set it up for you, show you how to play it. That's kind of how I got my first guitar, so maybe I'm a little biased. But they're never set up well out of the box. Hey, and when your dad's been playing guitar and bass for 40 years, he can set it up for you out of the box. He can spend however many hours it probably took him to set up that guitar out of the box. That's really the other ultimate question too. Even if you know how to set these guitars up and work on them, is it worth it? Oh, I, <laughs> they're not the same color. Look at this. I bought this guitar for my daughter. Her favorite color is hot pink. I was excited to surprise her. However, it was clear that the amp and the guitar are not the same color. The amp is also not very good quality and produces a static sound. <laughs> Come on, dad. Oh, it's a mom. Did Katie do this? Katie. Oh, see, it's Kevin. It's not Katie. Kevin, come on, dude. Can't expect a $150 guitar and amp set up like this to look and sound good. It just, um, I just, I just wouldn't even give this to a student just based on my experience with both of them. Look at this, but it came defective. After playing it, I noticed a vibration on the sixth string and is having a hard time keeping it tuned. I've noticed that it's missing a set screw. Look at the bridge is missing one of the grub screws. I mean, she noticed it. But how many other people are just like, I don't know what goes on these things. And it was buzzing really bad. Yeah, I, I can imagine. I can imagine it was missing the screw. But see, again, um, haven't been able to get in touch with Amazon or the seller, only putting this review, hoping someone can reach out for the part. Other than that, this is a great starter guitar. And she gave it five stars. So again, like you can't look at this stuff and think like, oh, a lot of times, how many, how many times do you just look at this an ad on Amazon. I'm bad about doing it too. And you see the guitar, God help you. Um, come on, man. Come on. They ain't doing that. Um, oh, look at that. Set up like in a bar. You know, the old smoky bar with the Mesa Boogie dual rectifier in the, <laughs> in the background. Oh, yeah. It's a little singer-songwriter night with the, with the Licks Pro. Keep the amp. Break out the Mesa. Break out that Mesa. All right. Um, no, this guitar sucks. This guitar sucks. Don't buy this guitar. Look at it. It's 150 bucks new. And look, they got used very good for 76 They also will tell you if this is a highly returned item, which I'm not seeing for some reason. 
but we'll see that through here. If we find one of those, we'll have to uh, make a point of it. But getting back to my point, when you see these Amazon reviews, sometimes we just look, ah, four stars is probably good or five stars, but look at the percentage of one star and two star and three stars. That's pretty high for this guitar because how many times do you buy stuff and even when you review it it's like it's great it's fine it's whatever these are not great guitars 150 bucks you can do a lot better so in fact uh, speaking of which housekeeping if you're still if you're still with me get ready to do a review on the ibanez micro that i picked up uh, from amazon funny enough i picked it up on a it was one of these deals here save use with very good meaning someone returned it because it probably had problems because it had problems and uh, I kind of show you what I did to it. I put locking tuners on it because I'm ridiculous. And so that'll be a fun video. So that's coming up, right? Amazon Micro coming up. So I know we're jumping all over the place here, but number 22 on the list, at least as far as tonight at whatever time of the night it is when this 25 list is being compiled, I see a Yamaha Pacifica. Now, I mentioned something on a post on the channel about I'm not seeing anybody playing Pacificas, and it's kind of true. Uh, they are really cool guitars. The Yamaha series, the Pacifica, the beginner series anyway. I know there's a couple of different models. I don't know that I'm all that familiar with all the different variations of them, but this one, the PAC-012, I believe is sort of their beginner. Be like This is their most inexpensive beginner model. And it is very popular. It's also a very popular item with Sweetwater when I was kind of doing some research on this one. Uh, again, it's a humbucker single single configuration, a little pricier obviously than the Donner and it doesn't come with anything than the guitar. It does sell as a bundle, but I believe the bundle is... No? Oh, hey, I gotta click the guitar and amp bundle. It's 319 for the guitar and amp bundle. So, you know, if you were a parent and you have a Donner at 150 and you have a Yamaha at 319 and you're not a player, the Donner's probably going to be a lot more of an appealing offer, which is why Donner is higher up on the list. It really brings up a bigger question, which is, you know, how does Yamaha and Squire and Epiphone and the bigger brands really deal with this? Do they at what point do they stop even offering these student guitars? All that being said, I do see a primarily a lot of Squire and Epiphones. I don't see a ton of Yamahas. It's not that I never do. I see them a lot at Guitar Center. It doesn't seem to be a big choice for starting guitar players. I don't know why that is. Um, I don't know if it's because there's really no brand recognition. I feel like when I have a new student in here and they're buying a guitar, it's either going to be a price situation where, hey, we're you know we're looking at a limited budget, where a Donner is probably going to be the situation, or if they don't, it's going to be a Squire or Epiphone. That's just my experience with all mostly new players here teaching guitar is that they just know there's a Squire, there's an Epiphone, those are the brands to them and then or they go on Amazon and then they just pick whatever looks cool because I get some of that too and most of the time it's Donner occasionally a couple of those licks but the Yamaha never so far and I've been doing this part-time for like a year so it's not like I've been doing this forever but I've just not seen any Pacificas which is a shame because they're a really cool guitar and they offer a lot for the price but they're not the most feature-packed and I think we get a little, um, we're a little spoiled because we've seen so many great guitars offered at such a great value. Um, anyway, I don't know. Part of it also could be the look of this guitar too. When I'm looking at it, you know, let's get off the guitar and amp bundle. I mean, when you look at it, it's a little bit more uh, of a kind of an interesting cut. It is a Strat style shape, but again, you know, it really does offer. A lot for 219, but in today's market, I mean, even Squire has a 199, you know, Squire Sonic series out right now. So it kind of makes you wonder. The reviews on this, 4.6 out of 5. I always see good reviews on these Yamahas. They always review really well, but I just don't see a ton of them. Part of it too, we could. I, I let me know if you're interested in a Let's Talk Yamaha. I think some of it is they just don't have a ton of options in the electric guitar market it's such a big brand yamaha just offers so many different types of products even outside of musical instruments to where you kind of wonder how much time do they get to focus because they offer like two or three different models 
at least in the States. I know in Japan, Yamaha gets a couple of more options, but really, unless it's a Pacifica or a Revstar for an electric guitar, that's kind of what Yamaha offers, essentially. I mean, maybe a hollow body, you know? But anyway, a lot of, a lot of Yamaha talk, right? This is 219 on uh, on Amazon. I think it's the same at Sweetwater. Honestly, if it's Sweetwater or Amazon, like one of these brands where you can find them on both, I would probably buy it from Sweetwater. Um, speaking of which, a lot of people get this idea that Sweetwater does this thing where they're... Um, where they set up your guitar for you it's they do a 55 point inspection but they're not setting up your guitar they're not gonna pleck your guitar fret level your guitar they're not gonna do any of that um so sometimes like i know on that sweetwater video i did i got a lot of people complaining about how they felt like the 55 point inspection was bs i don't know that it's necessarily bs but there's definitely employee error and you've got new people there's 55 things to check for and it definitely isn't going to negate the fact that you might get a lemon of a guitar you know if you're an employee at Sweetwater and you have to 55 point inspection x amount of guitars something's going to fall through the cracks it's going to happen so I definitely don't fault them but in the case of this Yamaha you know where would I buy it ideally if I'm a first-time guitar player I'd probably buy it in a local store God forbid a guitar center, but at least that even at the guitar center, you're dealing with a human being. There's an interaction. Possibly someone might even tune up your guitar for you uh, and, and do you a favor there. But also, I have to say guitar center also charges like, what, 25 bucks to change strings. All that being said, you know, when you buy it in person, there's a good chance or at least a better chance that you're going to get a guitar that you'll at least know from playing it in person whether you like it or not too even with the return policy returning guitars can kind of be a pain in the rump you know so speaking of squire there is this fender squire debut series stratocaster i'm trying to think what the heck this could be is it a sonic the debut series is this is an amazon exclusive if someone has any information if this is just a squire sonic and they're just relabeling it let me know but 119 dollars is it a three-quarter scale a perfect beginner guitar for kids and adults poplar single 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 scale length is 25 and a half huh I don't think it's a short scale. Okay, sub $120 guitars. Look at these reviews here. Every bit of good, if not better, of the Sonic Bullets series. No skunk stripe on the neck. Fret ends are not sharp. Nice string height out of the box. Very good budget tuners. Beautiful matte finish. Okay, ceramic pickups. If Squire would ship these with a cheap gig bag, it would be perfect, no complaints. Not quite as garbage as I was expecting. Pros, trust rod works, setup is fine. Surprisingly, tuners aren't missing gears. Nut, oh, by the way, when people complain about the strings that they get with the guitars, shut up already. Shut up about the strings on the guitars. There was a guy on the Harley Benton video who commented that he tried to get a $5 discount from them for the strings being broken when he got them. You got to understand, like these guitars have been sitting in a box for months. They put them, they put the strings on in the factory in Indonesia. And the fact that it's probably been sitting at Amazon or another distributor for months by the time you get it, to sit there and complain about the strings, I, I ripped the strings off the first time I get it now granted I'm not a first-time player but people who do this thing it's like I've played for a while and I and you expected these strings to be great you should know better of anybody like I get it if it's like a parent and they don't understand that like yeah you gotta change these strings every once in a while or you really shouldn't play the factory strings because they're the factory strings and they've probably got like I mean, just think of the stalactites growing off some of these things. I mean, I've seen strings that just have like rust, just engrossed all over them. Why would you even bother? It's a set of strings and obviously not very good ones. I, I get it, like rant over. But man, people who complain about the strings on, on the guitars when they get them new, it's like it's new, but that doesn't mean it came straight out of the factory. It could have been sitting for months and more than likely it has. So, right? I mean, complaining about the strings on the new guitar. Shut up already. Shut up. <laughs> it's so goofy, right? Buy some strings. Buy some strings. The matte finish is pretty 
interesting. That must be where the cost cutting feature is. I $119. Not a lightweight body. Wondering if this is even poplar. As every poplar body has been lightweight, and they could be using something else. Who cares? Trem works, but it's tight. If you're using the tremolo on this guitar, come on, bro. Tremolo block is the thin, cheapo kind. Bro, bro. $119. Let's see if we can get a picture of that satin finish. Oh, okay. I see. So this is interesting. I like I said, I expected this to be some sort of like Squire Sonic, and it's not. That's really cool. I did not know that's what this is. So we've got red, we got black, and we've got a two-color sunburst. And you know, they're very upfront about this. For all the making fun of Fender I did on the uh, Sweetwater video about their Aerodyne special ad copy, you know. The, Although the lightweight, apparently, according to that one review, were not the case. Who cares? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Free returns. I mean, again, that's hard. When you go to a dealer, they don't have this. I mean, at best, a dealer is going to have the 199 I guarantee you this is a Fender Amazon exclusive. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong, if anyone else is offering this Fender Squire debut series, 120 bucks for a Fender Squire with the same ceramic single coil pickups that are probably in every guitar up 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 until you get to the classic vibe, which is now 450 bucks. When I was a kid, a brand new Mexican Stratocaster. By the way, I know I'm old, but wow! So crazy times we're living in, but. Didn't have a $119 Squire, though, either. So it's interesting how we're paying more for less, less for more. Mexican Strats are 1000 Classic Vibes are almost 500 And somehow you can still buy a Squire for now less than when I could buy it as a kid in the 90s. Buy it for $119.99 from Amazon. Man, I don't know. That's crazy. Wow, ah, that's nuts. This has probably been out for a while. There's probably like 100 YouTube videos on this. And someone's like, oh my gosh, this guy's an idiot. Everyone knows about these. Stupid. So one thing I find really interesting, this is that when, I, when they pulled the electric guitars, they pulled in the kit models. And there's a lot of people building kit guitars. You know, I have never had the desire to make one of these. I mean, it, by the way, you're not making a guitar. You're essentially assembling a guitar like a Lego I mean, everything is cut, set up. You're just, what said a screwdriver would pretty much get this guitar assembled. For 60 bucks though, I get it. You get to paint it yourself and do all that kind of stuff. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever used one of these. I mean, I've made like parts casters, you know, where I take a body from this guitar and a neck from that guitar and I transform them together and hope for the best. This is a little bit different than that, obviously. It's an unfinished body to some degree, so you could probably paint it. And I mean, how good is this thing going to sound? Probably not great because it's 60 bucks, so I'm sure that's mahogany, maple, ebony fretboard. That's an ebony fretboard. You really think that's an ebony fretboard? I I don't know. Who cares if it is or it's not? Technological, premium, durable, dependable, ergonomic. See DIY, sanding. Comes pre-sanded and drilled. Okay. That's interesting. Thought that was interesting. We saw all these different kit guitars out here. Okay, let's do one more, and then we're going to wrap this thing up here. Uh, I've seen some stuff on YouTube about this, but these Enya carbon fiber guitars, this one is ripping it up. We are at, this thing is at number seven, number eight, number seven. It's a $400 guitar, which for Amazon is uh, is pretty high. It comes with a gig bag. I know I think I've seen their acoustic ones. I don't think I've seen this electric, maybe. But this is one of those like built-in speaker, effects on board, Probably makes you a cup of coffee, one of these guitars that has come out. Um, probably blowing everyone's mind. Number one new release. Yeah, there must be. I wonder if they YouTube this thing out. So there's a bunch of YouTube videos coming out or have already come out about this. Which is really interesting. Al Nico 2 Magnet Pickup. Al Nico 5 for the bridge. Oh, it's not a horrible combination. 
So it's got presets on board. Okay, got some apps. It's just you know, this is something for someone who likes to travel and needs something like this compact. And I like the idea of the carbon fiber. Is this a zero fret? Huh. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You get to, you're changing your um, action at the uh, base of the neck. So it would be the base right about this area, which I like more so than the uh, the old headstock area. See, I think I've seen something for the acoustic, but just not the electric. This looks really interesting. Yeah, get it, get it, get it. Okay, I'm in, man. I'm in. That sounds like it's gonna make some make some uh, eardrums bleed. I like that. Wow. Okay. So there's all sorts of different reviews about this. Apparently, it's blowing people's minds. So it's all carbon fiber, one piece. The neck is asymmetrical. Zero fret, round end. So it's going to have those cool rounded end. Oh, you can see them here. Although this looks like a composite drawing. That's so weird. That's so cool, though. I mean, to be fair, if it's carbon fiber, then technically, then what are you adjusting the neck for? Is the neck carbon fiber? If you have one of these, let me know um, what you think. I've played like an emerald. I mean, those are really nice, but I had a student who had an emerald. That was something else. But so I, but I haven't played anything like this. Really cool concept though, but uh, it's ripping it up here on Amazon. Let's see if there's any great reviews we can. Uh... Oh, look at that. There we go. Look at... Frets look good. Well, that's a little loud. Yeah. Ooh. By the way, if you work with that dude where he was back there jamming out at work. They were like, he's just he just got up and started rocking. What's up with that dude? I know he just started here, but what what what's going on here? I mean I you could, but Just play it. With the Enya S1 DSP chip powering it, the Nova Go Sonic takes your sound to the next level with cutting edge audio systems and effects. Didn't they just go over this? Effortlessly between bridge and neck pickups, or toggle between series and parallel wiring setups. Oh, that's kind of cool. Starting off with the Nova Go Sonic. Okay. I mean, you get it. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's an all in one solution. They show people playing it on stage. Nobody's playing this on stage. But it's a cool travel guitar, a lot of different options. That's that's interesting. That's genuinely cool. I don't think I've saw this one. I've seen, like I said, I saw the acoustic, did not see the electric, but the acoustic was sort of similar too. A lot of built-in things, a lot of built-in effects. It's weird how guitar players are super weird about that. You know, in the 70s and 80s, they tried to add in built-in effects, even in the 60s, to guitars, and it just never stuck. But bass players will do it all the time. They'll have guitars with built-in onboard effects, EQs, boosts, and I don't know. It's one of those weird things. Bass players are okay with it, but guitar players historically have not been into this. So it's interesting that you're uh, that we're seeing some popularity here. 
yeah, I think this acoustic thing I've seen, and I think this other, this thing here, these guys look like they're tearing it up. Ukulele? Okay. Oh, okay. Before we go, we got to read this review. Here we go. This is from Paul S. Paul S. Mwah! Look at this review. The guitar is the most fun to play of my guitars because of the built-in speaker and effects. When played at low volumes, the onboard effects sound fantastic through the built-in speaker. The pickups on this guitar are very well made and some of the best I've ever heard. If you plug this guitar into a tube amp, it sounds as good as my Gibson Les Paul. There is a real sizzle on top from the bridge and the neck smooth as butter. <laughs> The guitar's ergonomic shape makes it a dream to play. It's a very, very good value. I mean, maybe it is. Maybe it is. It's cool looking. Plays like butter. I hate when people say that. I know it. that's a big... Played like butter is a dumb phrase, but people complaining about that phrase is almost becoming as bad, but... When people say a guitar plays like butter, I've never played anything that plays like butter. I don't think I'd want to play anything that plays like butter. Built an amp. I mean, fun toy. I think that's the big thing that guitar players tend to look at these deals. The guitar feels natural, and I haven't even started a setup. How are you setting it up if it's carbon fiber? Like, How are you adjusting the neck? That's my big... I purchased three Enya guitars now. I'm not sponsored or given anything. I just love these Enyas. Just picked up a looper. Thing, oh, thing plays like butter. Bu -bu 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 butter. This is my second. I've had the flood. Okay, good cheap guitar. Don't expect a $2,000 guitar when you spend $500. Because it's carbon fiber, well, sort of. It's a mixture of carbon fiber and plastic. You don't need to worry about the weather climate, so no n warping, no neck issues. But then why do you adjust it? What is adjustable then with the truss rod? Does that make sense to anybody else? Like what can you actually adjust with a truss rod if the neck is made of carbon fiber? Unless there is some sort of gift. Come on, somebody who's bought this, tell me what's happening here. All right. So that's it. I'm done with this. We looked through some of the Amazon best-selling guitars. Um, I don't know. I don't really have any thoughts on any of these other ones. I looked at the Licks, the Gear It, seeing that stuff around. I mean, it's an $88 electric guitar with a gig bag. They are not very good. Um, seen these before, I should mention. I mean, if you if you know about Glary and stuff like that, I'd put it in that category. Just not a great student guitar. They look cool. And a lot of these pictures you're seeing here, I don't even know if this is a real product picture. This is looks like a computer-generated image, frankly. All you got to do is spend two minutes to go to the reviews. 4.1 out of 5, not good in an Amazon rating. Not even the amount of paid reviewers could negate how awful this thing. Five-star on price and on uniqueness review. Look at this. Okay. I know I said I was wrapping it up. We're not wrapping it up. This is for, again, the Gear It, Gear IT. This, look, it's not even, I mean, this is all computer generated, this guitar. Like, we haven't seen a real picture of this guitar yet. Nope. Not a real picture. Not a real picture. Not a real picture. Five tone modes. Okay, so let's see what they're offering here before I get too nutty about this review. Okay, a unique P90 humbucker pickup configuration, semi-hollow, rounded frets, got the old, if you watch enough uh, YouTube, you hear about these rounded, perfectly rounded ball-in frets coming on guitars like E-Art and Firefly, I think is doing it now. It seems to be the new thing. Coil split function, great, great. What are they saying? It's made of ash? Swamp ash, huh? Oh, boy. Interesting. Uh, already, wow. The fact that they let that be a picture. Can you see how rough that wood is along the uh, meth hole? Yowzers. That was a real picture we just saw back there, by the way. That was one of the few. Let's see what the video. Oh, man, they're ripping it up. Mm, come on. Boy. This poor guy, having to make this thing sound good, huh? He's doing a great job, but he's a great player. Oh, look at how rough that F-hole, look at that. Look at that. 
Look at that. I mean, I get it. It's a $90 guitar, but come on, man. That's why they're using the CGI uh, photos, I think. Wow, and you're just going to zoom right in on it, huh? Still going, huh? Still showing it. Thin body. Yeah, guess what? That's really unique. Okay. Done looking at this. Oh, you're still going to play, huh? Okay. Stop. Let's read this review because this, I, 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 I'll be honest, I've taken the time and paused it and, and read the review. There's all your different pickup configurations. Who cares? This thing's flaming garbage. Here we go. Let's read this review, shall we? Scrappy D. Scrappy D. Six people found this helpful. And Scrappy D, by the way, look at these photos. I mean, this guy knows what's up. Scrappy D, that headstock is atrocious. That is garbage. Okay, so here we go. Five star on price and uniqueness. Read my review. I will get right to the point. The bad first. My gear it came with an A string installed where a D string should be. The nut was off center, causing the treble string to be closer to the treble string to be closer to the end of the fretboard. The bridge is also just a hair off of center. <laughs> The string settles are garbage and have no center cuts. The volumes don't match completely between the bridge pickup and the P90. In split coil mode, everything gets better. The top is plywood, or I guess a laminated wood. The F-hole is bare and rough. Yeah, I think we saw that. Lastly, the headstock looks like a duck head. Five-star review, by the way. <laughs> I reshaped mine. I reshaped my headstock. Five-star review. That looks like crap. That looks like crap. Look at that big divot taken out of the front. I mean, I get it's a bone nut, but the guitar's crap. After I pretty much overhauled the guitar, it's a five-star guitar now. However, a little better quality control, reshape the headstock, maybe the wind the P90 a little hotter to match the volumes. Oh, that's what it is. So the P90 neck pickup is at 5K and the humbucker's at 14K great awesome that's what you want yeah these saddles uh i guess i can't zoom in there's no indentation i guess but again it's a 90 dollar guitar well, what did you expect is this after he reshaped it is he the only one who has pictures Yeah, I mean, all right. Okay. Huh. Sometimes you get this too, where it's like, I play keyboards, but I've always wanted to play guitar. I get it. There you go. Makes me feel like a, the rock star I believe I am inside. I love the accessories. Is this like a paid review? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. Hey, look, we all going to make a buck. I get it, but come on. You got a free guitar. Let's not lie to ourselves here. Let me know if there's anything here you bought, you have experience with. Maybe I blew right past it, um, but some really interesting takeaways, some really interesting guitars that are being sold there. Not really a big surprise with the Donner stuff, but the uh, the Squire, uh, the Squire that's, that they're offering there is kind of interesting at $119. That's going to wrap up this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. We've got a lot of other videos coming up soon. So uh, until next time, we'll see you around. Okay. Thanks.